What is up guys? Welcome to the vlog. So, yeah, I haven't been with it these days with the videos because all I've been doing was I've been staying at home. Kind of lost my, like, drive. And I'm trying to get it back, so... Let's get it started here. Today's video is going to be about the uh, the MacBook Air that I, I purchased, the hard drive of it at least, and me replacing that hard drive with a standard M.2 SSD. Everything's already installed, so I, I can't really show you in pieces, but I did record snippets of it as I was getting them in the mail. It took like about a month to get everything in the mail. I don't even know what the first thing I got. I, well, uh -huh. The first thing I got was the M.2. Uh, it was a crucial M500? Crucial M500 M.2 SSD SATA 3. Oh my gosh, I got it in. What is this? What is this you say? <laughs> it was on some super sale event thing. It is an M.2 SSD, the M500 from Crucial. I right, taking a much closer look at this. Um, I don't wanna put my camera on the tripod because I'm just too lazy. I just took it off the bubble wrap right now. And boy, have I been searching everywhere for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch some aluminum just in case. Ground myself out here. That is it right there. Do you see that chip in there? That is so small. So I got that in and I couldn't do anything with it, it was just an SSD. The next thing I got actually was the um, was the M.2 to, uh, to regular SATA 2.5 case and converter. So it made my M.2 little RAM chip looking hard drive into a SSD like standard SATA 3 2.5 inch that goes into a notebook. I got that adapter in and then as oh, soon as I got that, I could now test the M.2 SSD, so I went and connected to my, to my MacBook Air and I just copied the hard drive. And guys, you don't need a special program to do that. I didn't know that either, you know. I Google food the crap out of it. Google food! Yeah, I figured that out and I just copied it over through whatever Mac, whatever, whatever, the standard initial program thing. Anyways. Something else in the mail, which is this external hard drive case. Now this is a SATA case. Um, so basically it looks like a SATA hard drive, but actually it's nothing. It's just a PCB. There's no hard drive in here. Let's see if I could. All right, if you look here, this actually just comes right off. You see. And then you put an M.2 SSD in here, the NGFF M.2, and it turns into a SATA, a SATA drive, a SATA SSD standard. Now I got this to test out my M.2, and if need be, to externally connect it to my to my MacBook, so I could install OS X in here, but. Along with this is supposed to come with a, a SATA hard drive case. I didn't get that yet, it's stuck in the mail. So all these the adapters are trickling in, but this is the next step into completing my MacBook um, SSD upgrade. Yet another day and I got another package. This thing is coming in increments at a time, but I got something else in the mail. This is the uh, Tinergy Propel SSD SATA, well SATA, not just SSD, SATA to USB 3.0 drive converter. Now, the M.2 SSD that I have, I already put it inside the, uh, so it's, it's in here already, I, I installed it in here already. So the, the SSD, the M.2 SSD to, um, to SATA connector, I already installed it in here. So there is an M.2 in here. Now I have this, so now I could connect this to my Mac to see if everything works. Maybe do a, a disk utility check somehow. 
but yes it's slowly coming together I'm thinking maybe I could install um, OS X onto this M.2 through USB 3.0 and then I could just transfer over the SSD seamlessly we'll, we'll see how this works but I'm still waiting on the M.2 to um, MacBook Air adapter so that I could go ahead and pop it in there that's coming from China so that's gonna take a lot longer all this stuff came from the US or in state so it was a lot quicker um, so that's it that's the update so far holy smokes this works what I'm doing is I connected my M.2 to an external device through USB and I'm installing Mac OS Sierra on it externally alright so I cancelled the installation of OXX because apparently I could clone my hard drive in here to the M.2 in there and um, that's according to Google up there I think this should be long enough to take me to my boot menu yes so if I boot from this right here um, it boots from my external hard drive which is just a clone of this drive in here <laughs> my USB so yeah I have my main my main is now my USB hard drive and uh, I have this thing right here we got, I got that done, so I just copied over the SSD to M.2 and I still couldn't put it into my MacBook Air because the MacBooks in general have their own proprietary connection port. Now, their interface is still SATA 3, but backwards compatible SATA 2 and SATA, or PCI, PCIe, but their connection port is just proprietary Apple. But there's a way around this, guys. You just buy a cheap adapter from China, and that's what I did. I did. So I got that adapter from from, uh, from China. It finally came in. It took about two weeks, three weeks, three weeks. But there's a problem here, and it didn't. I didn't say this in the video when I was recording it. But the problem is, it hikes up the height a little too high. So when I put my back cover back on, it it it's like wonky. I can't put it back in. Like I can, I can force it, which is how it's done right now. It's just forced in but I'm pretty sure that's not good for the drive so I ended up buying another another Chinese adapter because they're like eight bucks each anyway so I just bought, <laughs> bought so many stuff but you know, I purchased another one so that one's still coming in the mail but right now my MacBook Air is working fine handy dandy so several things came in the mail today um, which is kind of gonna complete my setup here I got this in the mail which is let me just take it off it just came like this it's a uh, from China it finally came and it's the last piece to the puzzle it is the um, the adapter for the MacBook Pro so I could use standard m.2 into my uh, <coughs> into my MacBook Air <coughs> all right so that is my last piece of the puzzle as far as um, getting an M.2 inside my MacBook Air. I already took off the back, so I'm ready to disassemble one more time. Go ahead and get the keyboard out of the way, so I have a place to put my bolts. My M.2 is actually in here, so go ahead and unplug this as well. The next important thing that I have to do, I didn't really lose too much. I gained 100 on write and I lost about 50 on read. All right, so I just uh, put in the SSD in here. So just to show you, let's see here, system reports. SATA, I have it right here. It's my new SSD that has 480 gigabytes. But the huge problem is that the trim support is says it's not enabled. It's no. So for you to do this, you just go into terminal. 
and you type in S U D O pseudo space T R I M F O R C E space capital E and A B L E and then you have to plug in your password then it says are you sure you wish to proceed and you press yes Y enter and then your system will immediately reboot when this is complete this is okay yes enter enabling trim operation C that your system will reboot momentarily please wait so that is how you enable trim without downloading any any software because I know there's another way to do this um, you could enable trim through uh, a software you could download and it'll work that way Says trim support, yes. Okay, guys, so you're pretty much done now. Um, a regular old M.2 with an adapter works perfectly fine in a Mac, although this one it seemed to have a little bit of lift, and what it ended up doing was pushing against the back of my back case right here, which is not a big deal. The performance is kind of subpar though. But that's just probably just the M.2 that I got from Crucial. Which is fine. I don't mind. It has a faster write speed, a little bit slower read speed. Just for giggles, I busted out my MacBook uh, Pro Retina just to check the speed. Okay, it's not performing the way it's supposed to. What's going on here? So I'm gonna leave it the way it is till that new adapter comes. The cool thing is the seller, I, I told them like, look, this doesn't fit correctly, I'll, I'll ship it back, you know? And he's like, no, no, just keep it, and he just refunded me the money, because, I don't know, he's a cool guy, I guess? Anyways, I ended up buying another, another adapter, so that's gonna come in. And finally, the very last thing I did was, there's actually two things, um, one came in the mail today, but the very last thing, I got a USB, um, like, enclosure, and I put my, my Apple SSD that came with my MacBook back into that little USB drive. So this USB little stick thing right here, this actually is an SSD drive. And this has a faster read time than my, uh, my M.2, but that's just the drive. I don't blame uh, the port or anything, but anyways. So actually, I could boot uh, Mac OS off this thing. So any computer, any Mac computer, I could stick this thing into and hold, hold option as it starts and just boot off this and I'll have a separate operating system. Now, if you do this, you will have issues with signing into your iTunes account. That's not a big deal. All right, guys, so I got something in the mail today and this is kind of the um, last of the last of the Apple stuff. As you guys already saw from the previous video, or you might not have seen it yet, I upgraded my um, my hard drive to 480 gigabyte instead of the 128 that it came with standard. So if I could find my knife, there we go. I got one of these, and this is to kind of put the finishing touches on on what I um, on the Mac stuff. So I have this extra. Uh, what do you call it? Extra SSD from Apple now because I took it out of my MacBook Air. And with this one, it's a SATA 3 interface, but then it's like Apple's proprietary BS. This thing will now be my external hard drive. So let me go ahead and 
save the bubble wrap, I guess, and the case, just in case I end up selling it or something, I don't know. But I'll put, I like saving boxes, guys, I don't know why, call me weird. Boxes are my thing. That, that's it for this video right here as far as this goes. It's gonna be a compilation of everything together, but you could use your old MacBook Air, MacBook Pro hard drives, um, whether it's a, a SATA or a PCIe, just buy the appropriate kit for it. Now you have a little USB stick right here. And this thing is essentially, I believe it's 200 v 200, right? Um, the throughput on the, the USB 3.0 is fantastic, but it, just, it has its limits. Before we go any further, the 2010-2011 is a different SSD connector than the 2012. And then the 2013 and onwards, it's another different SSD connector. So you guys gotta be careful when you order these things. Check your model number, check the ear, and check it again. Because you don't wanna screw up because it's just, then you'll get frustrated. It'll take even longer to do what you need to do. That's all I got for you guys. So. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great night. Live well, laugh more.